this is the solar panel for one of our seismic quick deploy boxes that folds up so we can put it inside the Pelican case. But there's a problem. It's hinged, so there's some wiggle to it. So we're gonna try a few ways to make this more rigid after it's deployed, but still keep it folding. My first idea is this thing. The idea is this will go over the panels, the ears will swing in behind, and then you tighten it up. First attempt, not so much, but it's a data point. I've 3D printed another design here. So I think we learned from this that this is probably not the approach. So I'm not really happy with with either of those. They're too flexible. They're a little bit fiddly to put on. When the panels move or try to move, it like goes in between, sandwiches itself in between the 3D print. And I don't really want to make them have a step because these panels are not incredibly consistent from the manufacturer in terms of the thickness of the framing. I don't know. Let's take a look and see if we can figure anything else out. So looking at these panels, one of the challenges is here we have a hinge on the back and here the hinge is in the middle so it can fold like this. So there's two different things going on here. Like I said, this is not incredibly consistent in terms of thickness. The spacing on these is pretty consistent, but again, these panels have been made over many generations of the product. I don't know that our idea of clipping over like that is going to to be the way to go. I am interested in this gap and this gap because that is where a lot of the motion is coming from, right? If I can close up that gap, and close up that gap, then nothing should be able to move. Okay, I've got something new to try. It's a little hard to see, but you can see in the light, there's a rib in the center of these that is suited to the gap where the hinge goes because the hinge is a pretty consistent thickness. My idea is if we put these on over the top and bottom of the panels and fill that gap, it ought to make the whole assembly a fair bit more rigid. So as a reminder, right now we can do this, no problem. Let's put these on and see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna put the larger ones, the larger webbing on the larger gap here. It's a little tight, but not bad. I mean, it's good. We don't want it to fall out. Let's try putting these in the smaller gap. This already feels a lot better. Okay, so here they are on, and that is a winner, I think. I mean, we'll have to see what it would take to get them to come off in the field, but this is very rigid. It feels like one piece again. We'll take this design to the customer, see what they think, but this may not be the exact final design, but it's going to be pretty close, I think. This, after a couple iterations, I think we're closing in on something. And these are printed out of uh, ASA carbon fiber, so that would do pretty well in the sun. It's pretty UV resistant, and it's very rigid. I like that, I think that might work. This is how things go here most of the time. We try things, and refine things, and eventually we get to a solution that we like pretty well. But it's the scientific method, except we just apply it to engineering, and it's engineering we do for scientists, so it's a nice full circle. If you like seeing stuff like this, be sure to subscribe and check out all the cool stuff that we get to do here every day.